Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade chapter four, lesson 10. It's gonna be a fun one, super easy. So we're gonna use our dirty monkey saw completely bad or does McDonald's love cheeseburgers to remind us of the steps. So you will notice that at the top of my paper, I'm going to write B, M, S, C, B, so that I remember my steps, okay? So I'm going to write it on another piece of paper to give me a little bit more room for into 298, okay? Now, four is not gonna go into two, so I'm gonna put a placeholder, okay? Whatever I do, I wanna make sure I'm lining it up so that I know what number I'm supposed to bring down when I bring it down, okay? Now, four will go into 29 six times, six times four. Oh, I'm sorry, seven times, oops, uh-oh. All right, it's 28. Seven times four is 28, leaving me one, okay? One is smaller than four, so I'm checking. I'm going to bring down that. Four will go into 18. Four times, four times four is 16. Leaves me remainder two. Okay? So, just a second. Let me make sure. Yep. Okay. So, 74, remainder two. Okay? Whatever is left with down here, that's your remainder. So, 74, remainder two. Make sure you show your work, guys. Okay, I'm using markers that are a little bit thicker, so I'm doing it on scrap paper. Okay, all right. Okay, three into 461. Okay, okay, all right, guys, give me just a second. Let me turn the page so that I'm on the right lesson. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna see three will go into four one time. One times three is three, that's my multiplication. Subtract, get one, that's my subtraction, okay? My checking is just checking that one is smaller than three because if it's not, then I could have put a two up there instead of a one, okay? So, one is smaller than three, so I'm gonna bring down my six. Three will go into 16, five times, five times three is 15, subtract, get one, okay? Again, one is smaller than three, so I'm gonna bring down my last one, okay? This is why it's so important to line up your columns so that you know where you are when you're bringing things down, okay? Three will go into 11, three times, three times three is nine, subtract, get two, remainder two. 153, remainder two. Okay, write down your work, guys. It's important. Okay, you guys are going to do exactly like that all the way through 12. Okay, you don't need my help with that. You guys are amazing. Okay, we're going to go down to number 13, and it says there are 132 projects in the science fair. If eight of the projects can fit in a row, how many full rows? Full rows. So, full. So not remainder, okay, how many full rows? And then how many projects are in the row that is not full, okay? So then it wants the remainder, okay? So 132 divided by eight, okay? 132 projects, eight projects in a row, okay? Eight will not go into one, placeholder. Eight will go into 13, one time. One times eight is eight, subtract, get five okay five is smaller than eight so i'm going to bring down my two eight will go into 52 six times six times eight is 48 subtract get four so i will have 16 full rows and four singles in not full row Okay. Okay. Write down your work, guys. It's important. Okay. All right. We're going to go to number 14. Okay. It says there are 798 calories in six 10 ounce bottles of apple juice. How many calories are there in one 10 ounce bottle? So we're going to divide it 
by six. Okay, so 798 divided by six. Okay, I know that it confused you with the 10 ounces. Okay, gave me a second, but I had to pause and, and think about it for a second too. Okay, so six will go into seven one time, one times six, six, subtract one. One is smaller than six, so I can bring down my nine. Six will go into 19 three times. Three times six is 18. Subtract one. All right. One is still smaller than six, so I'm going to bring down my eight for 18. So six will go into 18 three times, which we just said. Subtract is zero. So 133 calories. Okay, write down the work, guys. Oops, sorry, there we go. Okay, we're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're going to do the spiral review. Okay, it says number three on spiral review says Mort makes beaded necklaces that he sells for $32 each. About how much will he make if he sells 36 necklaces at the local fair? So, 36 necklaces. $32 each, okay, well, let's do that, okay, 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, we're going to go through and tick, tap, so, okay, 3 times 6 is 18, carry the 1, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, add those up, okay, 2, 15, carry the one, one and one. So $1,152, $1,152, okay? Write your work down, guys. Okay, estimate the product of 54 times 68. Well, I'm going to make that 50 times 70 because 54 would round to 50 and 68 would round to 70. I know that. 5 times 7 is 35, and then I have 1, 2 zeros, 1, 2 zeros, 3,500, okay? All right. Remember, anything reasonable. So if you want to do 55 and 70, if you want to do 55 and 65, I guess, you could probably do that, okay? But the easiest one that I know of, 50 and 70, okay? Ms. Eisner pays $888 for six nights in a hotel. How much does she pay per night? Well, let's do some math and find out. Okay. So, $888 for six nights, but we only want one night. So, let's find out. Okay. Six will go into eight. One time. One times six is six. Subtract. Get two. Two is smaller than six, so I'm going to bring down my eight. Okay, six will go into eight, or sorry, 28, four times, four times six is 24. Subtract, get four. Four is smaller than six, so I can bring down my eight, and six times eight is 48. Subtract, get zero. So, $145, sorry, $148 per night. Okay. Okay, what division problem does the model show? Well, all together we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, divided by 1, 2, 3, and that's it, guys. Okay, all right. Thanks for hanging out for 410. Come on back for 411. See you guys soon.